Jeff Van Gundy here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. I think you are aware that we did notice last NBA Finals, I don't think we've had you on since then, that we noticed you mentioned on the air that uh, you were classmates with Jody Foster at Yale. And I think... Think yeah, you. and then you cheap shot at me afterwards. No, I don't know. I don't like know cheap. you brought her on and well, and she just well, like feigned total indifference to my existence in the world. Well, Jeff, I, again, I, I, we do have, we do, we just needed clarification. She was not on for that specifically. She was promoting her film work, but I, I do have that. I do just to be fair and balanced. Want to give you the opportunity. This is this is how it went down uh, last okay. last summer. Well, you went to Yale. Yes. Okay. I don't know if you're aware, but you going to Yale was brought up on game two of the NBA Finals. No way. Yes. Jeff Van Gundy, who was on the broadcast, said he went to school with you. No way. In a class. Sorry, Jeff. Don't remember you. <laughs> you weren't that memorable. Oops. You don't remember mm. Jeff Van Gundy I'm in class? I'm afraid I don't. Can we bring up a picture of Jeff yeah. Van Gundy? The one in the middle is Jeff Van Gundy. Does that does that ring a bell that to you? That rings no bell whatsoever. No. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jeff. So <laughs> did I did I cheap shot you there, Jeff? I mean, it was a setup. I, I mean, <laughs> you know, you know what the crazy part is, and stop me if I've told you the story. Go for it. But so, our freshman year, there was 12 guys on the floor, and. We had some, like, brainiac students, and then we had some misfits that didn't belong there like myself. And so we all threw in $100 and said, hey, the first guy uh, that gets a date with Jody Foster, you win the money, all right? So it was 1200 bucks. Wow. So I'm coming back from the gym in the early fall, and there's a candy shop right outside the big quad for freshmen. And all these sirens are going by. And so I stop right in front of the candy store and watch the sirens go by. The popcorn is popping. It smells great. And from behind me, uh, someone goes, man, that popcorn smells good. And I turn around, and I'm going to say, yeah, it does. And it's her. <laughs> and I totally choke. And I say, yeah, yeah. And I run to my dorm. Right? <laughs> I was scared. I was intimidated by it. So – if she doesn't remember me, it's because I blew my one chance. Oh. Not only at the money, but to meet fame right there. Yeah. Well, if I'd known that, she might have remembered the famed popcorn incident on the campus. She I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. No, huh? I think, you know, when... No. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I, I think... That's hilarious. Yeah, but I did have my one chance of actually meeting her. I was in a class with her. And, I mean, first of all, she, what a star, like... Yeah actress of what a course. career she's had right. but like she, she was a star student there too i mean think about it like i was in a class with her we had to stand on the other side when all the threats you know the, the assassination sure. attempt against reagan right yeah i mean so it, it, what a time that but she always handled herself so great well look, i choked <laughs> i absolutely choked i was like a guy who airballed the two two free throws to win the game <laughs> sounds like you didn't even take your shot Jeff, that's what it sounds like. You just uh, look. Uh, no, I ran away. I, I panicked. I froze. Yeah, it was, it was embarrassing. Well, we 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 figured it was amazing. You said it on the air, and like literally, it, she was scheduled to be in studio a couple of days later. We figured we we we'd ask, and we did, and now we're bringing yeah, it up to you again. Yeah, it didn't turn out great. Now, if I ever see her, she was at a Laker game like three years ago. Yeah, three or four years ago that we were doing. She was about six rows from me, and. I think she was with family, but yeah. the next time if she comes to a Laker game or a yes. Clipper game and I'm there, I'm going to go introduce myself. And she could, you, yeah. and and you could say, "I'm Jeff Van Gundy. I'm the guy from Yale that Rich brought up to you. Let's, you know, just share." And you said I was totally not memorable. <laughs> that's, like, that's, that's the quote. That <laughs> that's the quote for said, sure. She could have just said, "No, I don't remember," him, but she said, "Totally not memorable." <laughs> For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.